there comes a question that is very rarely answered. And it's a simple one is where do you get started? <laughs> what do you start with? And chances are, if you're watching this, you've actually gotten started on something and then you kind of relapse and you go back to the way you were previously. And some people just stay in this cycle their whole life. Or some people just give up because they can't find anything that sticks. And if you feel like that's been you or that is you, I've been there too. So I'm going to help you out. Because if you're in this cycle and you can't get out of it, chances are you're overloading yourself. You're doing way more, way more than you should. And because of that, it's not sustainable. It will not stick. The diet doesn't work. The workouts won't stick because it's just too much. Or the meditations, you're reading too much, whatever it is, fill in the blank. Or secondly, you're just dying in the chair. You're not actually doing anything. You want to do these things in your head and they sound good. You get the benefits. Working out gets you in better shape. It, it prolongs your lifespan for you and the people you love, but you just can't get yourself to do it. And I'm going to help both perspectives out, right? So the first one is, is where do you start? You start extremely small. Think about this. If you're trying to, to get dominoes knocked down, you don't just hit them with the baseball bat. No, you don't do that. You, you just push the first one down. And then slowly but surely, you set, you set a chain of events. It's the same thing with self-improvement. Start extremely small. The workout does not need to be for three hours. The workout can be 10 minutes. Just go to the gym. Just show up and do that for a little while. And then eventually you have this habit. Hey, I go to the gym. I'm here. I might as well go for 30. If you want to read, read a freaking page. Just develop the habit of showing up. We, we are creatures of habit. We want to know what we're doing to automate our lives because that way it is easy for us. It's the same thing. Just, just focus on building these simple habits. If you want to meditate, just meditate for one minute for one minute that's it and then eventually like all things in life you overload it you start to progress right it's like video games dude you, you just don't go do the the final chapter you, you just don't do that no you build up you start to knock the dominoes down it's the same way and you see progress in that just through just through showing up daily and then the second type of person is you die in the chair you can't seem to find the the motivation, the fire you need to just to just get started, but you know it's good for you. My controversial opinion is if you know it's good for you and you still choose not to do it because it is a choice. It is within your power to work out. You can do push-ups right now if you really wanted to. You can meditate right now if you really wanted to. You can do all these things, but you're choosing not to. I think the reason that is, is because you don't believe you're worth it or you don't believe it's possible. You think maybe if you go to the gym, people might judge you. Oh, he's in the gym and you might get embarrassed, right? Or you might not be able to do it. You feel, you feel that you might fail. These two things, this fear of failure and this fear of judgment, I want to tell you a, a sobering truth. No one freaking cares. No one actually cares. No one cares. When you see a new person come to the gym, maybe they're just bent out of shape. No one cares. If anything, I actually have respect for that person because they're here to better themselves. Like they, the hard part, stepping in the gym, the workout just comes as a byproduct. You, you show up. That's what you're here to do. The workout comes as a byproduct. I have mad respect for that person because they have started the process. I cannot respect someone who's just dying in the chair. I'll tell you something that maybe you haven't heard in a while is you are worth it. I truly believe as individuals, there is a purpose within all of us to get better, to write this badass story, to, to come up in the world, to, to level up the main character. All this shit is, is why we are here. And I know you might have the people in your life that might not believe in you. They may not subscribe to that same notion as you that you want to improve. You want to level up. But let me tell you something. That challenge that you feel in life, 
of people doubting you, people not believing in you, not having like-minded individuals around is exactly what you need. That is how the world is built, through challenge. Challenge in yourself allows you to grow. Because if everyone believed in you, it'd just be easy. Think about it. How many times do you see people who are bent out of shape, terrible habits, and then people around them say, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. He, he's happy, she's happy, whatever it is. And then they just stay that way because that's not truly caring. Truly caring is acknowledging, you know, maybe I'm meant for more in this world. Maybe. Maybe I deserve to be better than this. Maybe it's time for me to actually start taking care of myself. That's challenge. Having that friend that, dude, you should go to the gym. Why? Because it's good for you. And I know you're worth it. That's calling someone up. That's what you need to do. You need that challenge in your life. So regardless of which side you're on, if you're the person who can't get it started, or you're the person who can't have it stick, you got to start extremely small and just stack up these freaking wins. And then over time, I promise you, I literally promise you will start to build this shit brick by brick. It will get to the point where you're like, you know what, this workout instead of 15, I'm going to do 25. And then you keep adding this knocking down the dominoes. Start small, catch momentum and ride the freaking wave. I promise we'll help you out. I will see you guys in the next one.